All right, so I'm getting ready to do the engine assembly. Everything's all cleaned up. And these are the guts. Um, pistons again, motors from a 302, or it's a Mountaineer. 302 motor, 2001. It had a lot of miles on it, so you can kind of see the pistons have some wear on the sides of skirts, probably from some piston slap. But uh, the cylinders are pretty straight. I'm just gonna run cast rings and hope for the best. We'll see if it's noisy and works. But either way, I suspect, or expect, the motor's gonna run at least uh, 20, 30,000 miles or more. And the cam, got trick flow cam. Uh, split duration, 221, 225. So it's nothing too aggressive, but a half inch lift. But with the GT40 headset, that should give it a pretty healthy uh, torque curve slash uh, horsepower curve so I'm excited everything's clean and pretty just wanted to get a little picture video before before I move on so uh, what I'm doing today is I have to order uh, some head gaskets because my cylinder heads are getting close and something that plays into that is how far your pistons are in the hole so uh, Dial indicator is the way to go. You know, this is pretty basic. I think a lot of people have probably done this, but uh, you know, you don't do it very often. That'd be cool to make a video of it anyway. So, essentially, though, is you just zero in on your deck. And you're assuming that deck is nice and level. And then uh, you're just, all you're doing is moving that as carefully as possible over the piston. So, again, right now, I'm reading, you know, about a thou under. I'm just going to move the camera here for a second while I move it onto the piston. And now you'll see as I moved it down to the contact of the piston and I'm reading about 10 thou under. So, so what you got basically, when you calculate your compression ratios, you got to take into account that this is 10 thou below deck height. And you want to take account for that volume. And then there's also a, a kind of a real important uh, spec is called the quench, the squish area between the flat of the cylinder head and the piston. And about the tightest, I think you want to go as 40, 40 thou. Once you go higher than that, you really risk detonation. But if you can optimize that, you get lots of good mixing on this area of the head as it uh, pushes all that gas air mixture towards the combustion chamber. Like it really, it mixes it up well. So, so I target that 40 thou. And so I guess the ideal then is if I'm 10 in the hole, it's to be right around 30 thou. Um, would be as tight as you probably want to go. So I'll probably go a little larger just because uh, you got to deck this, so I'm going to run composite head gaskets. So if it's not perfectly straight, you can fill up those gaps in uh, between the head and the engine block. So there you go.